Hello awesome viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in a previous video we have seen, we have created one repository, but we haven't added any code. So if you see here, so I want to add this other project to my repository, where make your computer talk more VBS is one of the first file which I want to commit. Okay, how can I do that? For that guys, you have to go here, you have google.com, git bash, you have to have cache bad download for windows. So you can click on here, git downloads. So you can select for windows. So I want git to be downloaded, minus 64 bit. So I want it to be downloaded here. That is a standard installer. So yeah, once it gets downloaded, just install it. So yeah, git for windows, click on yes. So now you have to install it slowly. You have to have a public uh, agreement, yes. And you click on next. So yeah, open git bash here. You can have the same file. Click on next click on next click on next so click on next so all the recommendation settings you just add that open as the library check out window style everything just click on next enable system caching etc so install so all the default things you have to do it guys now you can see the git bash has been set up click on finish now here i have opened my other projects i want to add this click on terminal click on new terminal here so let me expand this. If you want to add, guys, uh, this uh, file to repository, just first add git init. Just it will create the git.com. So dot git it should be created. So now you can see dot git here. Okay. The second thing what you do, you can uh, click on git dot add. So it will add out all the files. Git add dot. So it will add all the files. Okay. If you want to see git status. You can see the git status. So this file have been now added. Okay. So then you add a uh, git commit. So you can commit your changes. Okay. Just add a commit. You can add already I have committed first previously. So I can just add a second commit. So this will be my second commit. So my changes should be now committed. So now what I'll do, I'll have to add this remote branch. So I'm adding, I'm adding a remote branch, the same command which is there. So remote already, already exists, I have already added it. If you have not added it, use this command, okay? So now you just have to push your changes, okay? So what I'm doing, I'm not creating a branch, my branch will already be a master. So I'll have to go here. So I'll paste it here instead of main, it will be master, okay? So now I'm pushing all my changes. So now it has pushed all your changes. So now go back here, reload this page. You should all you should see the added changes. Hope you like the video, guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you can new video, please do subscribe. Till then, guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.